Welcome to build a solar tracker part three. Nearly finished. Uh, this is my solar tracker now with four panels on it. There's 330 watt Kaya solar panels and 125 watt. Shouldn't make much difference at all. Uh, the panels are actually secured on. If I can actually zoom in on you, I might be able to show you a little bit. The panels I've made some stainless steel brackets, hold them at the bottom, bolted through each of the set, each one. So there's two on each. Okay. On the top, I've actually used a hook over bracket. If I can come through the tree, and I might be able to see it from here. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I might be able to. I've actually made the brackets so they they hook over the top, uh, so that panels slip on. Can't really see them from here. Uh, it's so I could actually hook them on the top, bolt them on the bottom, and put the top, top bolts on afterwards. Another thing about the actual panels is that they're, they're fully waterproof, so there shouldn't be any problem in this weather. Uh, the top mount consists of a scaffolding clamp with the pins sliced off on the end of them, some, some extensions put on, aluminium bracket, and bolted on like that. This may be modified as I'm probably going to be modifying the the actual end pins which have got a little bit of play in them and I don't like them because it moves as it moves and wiggles around. It's just doing like this a minute. Uh, the actual other bit as you can see is on there and it goes right there of course to an actuator which isn't fully wired up with the tracking system in yet. Uh, the bracket as you can see it's fairly big industrial steel. All the actual wires go into that box up there, and they're all sort of wired across. I'm going to tidy the wiring up later on. It's not quite in as sort of neat as it should be, but I'll sort that out later. Uh, I've had actually thought that I might be putting a pin in the centre here on this shaft here, so I might put a bit of weld on a pin in the middle of there, uh, just to stop it completely rotating on there. And I'm going to have to probably pin the bottom as well, which is down the bottom here. I'm going to put a pin through the bottom and drill it, which will stop it completely moving. I've got a power box here, I've got power going into. Uh, I wonder what else I can tell you about it. It's looking good. I've now found out that my 12 volt dump load isn't going to cut the mustard for a dump load for my charge controller. So I've, I've had to actually swallow and buy. I say buy <laughs> a future energy dump load for it. Uh, they're about 90 quid. They'll handle a kilowatt and they'll actually handle this no problem at all. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a fairly beast, a big beast. <laughs> and it sits there quite happily in the garden. As if I just keep it on camera. Uh, this is sort of pretty serious power. Because it's on a solar tracker, that should actually yield about another 30% more if it's tracking the sun. I'll give you an update on the control system later on. Uh, the control system I'm using has been bought from a company, a chap called, his name is Dwayne, and he's, he's on redrock.com. He's on the internet and he builds solar track and circuit boards, makes loads of them. They're well worth the money and they will do the job. They track all day automatically and power the motor. There's four wires on it and uh, you get them from America, you have to send away from them. Some people are selling them in the UK but they're giving them, selling them for a bit of a too much premium so I went direct. At the time they were 21 quid, all posted to your house. But they've probably gone up now since the exchange rate has happened. Uh, what else can I say about it? It's, it's nearly there. Uh, I've got a new, a new inverter, 24 volt inverter which is lovely. Which is a Zantex inverter, they're about 500 quid. But I managed to steal that one off someone on eBay for 175, 180 quid, which is good. Uh, from now on, uh, at the moment, quick update: the wind turbine is not up yet. Uh, still got the blades, still got the motor, got a 24 volt motor. I'm going to run the power out later when the law changes. But for the moment, uh, this we'll have to do for the time being. Uh, can't wait to get some good sun later on in the, in the year. That'll be quite interesting. S see you now. I've got to go. Uh, bye bye.
Hope you enjoyed this update.